uh, hi in this video we are going to see uh, how to find the inductor value for the buck converter okay so whenever for the capacitor or inductor values you just remember the formula that means uh, voltage across inductor vl is equal to l into di by dt okay this is the formula and for capacitors we know more formula is current flows through the capacitor ic is equal to uh, c into dv by dt okay so it has to be in your mind always so that we can derive it easily yeah here as well as c we can say it uh, q is the same way ic is current flow through is the charge and c into p this is also the same the same form one and same only both are okay but come to this point how to find the inductor value for the uh, buck converter so this is the formula voltage across the inductor is equal to l into di by dt we need to know the value of l okay so let us move this formula here rearranging the formula here voltage across the inductor into dt by da okay so now the voltage across the vl what is the means voltage across the inductor how much voltage will appear across here okay and we can say that during on time when the switch is turned on the voltage across appearing here will be v in minus v out okay so here i am saying it v in and here v in also if you say some 12 volt to 5 volt it has some tolerance right so 12.5 will be there and so the different the value v in minus v out this particular value will be more when it is a v in max right so whatever the uh, input tolerance you consider it if told it's a plus or minus 5 percentage means so whatever this value 5 plus or minus 1 volt you say means so 13 volt we have to consider right so v in minus v out into dt dt is the see uh, during turn on time we are saying that when switch is turned on the current ramps up right and when it's turned off current ramps down so this is the on time t on time right so dt is the t on switch is turned on time and da is nothing but the ripple current the current variation from here to here that means ripple current from here to here this value to this value right so ripple current usually for best practices ripple current we will consider as a 0.3 that means 30 percentage of the current we will consider it so let us first keep da only that means 0.3 only now t on value so t on is uh, what is that means t on divided by t is nothing but the d right that means uh, d is the duty cycle duty cycle is nothing but the on time divided by total time t on plus t off right that is t on divided by t if we rearrange this one t on will become d into t okay so and further we can t is nothing but the 1 by f 1 by switching frequency right so d into 1 by switching frequency why i am moving from t to switching frequency these are the values we know it okay this uh, we can't uh, uh, we can input spec itself we can come to know that so the formula can be easily calculated okay so replacing here to this value we rearrange this value to here okay that means v in minus v out into d duty cycle divided by switching frequency into ripple current d is nothing but the 1 by 0.3 okay now d also we come from so for the buck converter d is nothing but the v out minus v right the same way t on also this one and this is the value vl is nothing but the v in minus v out we can consider these things so replacing this value here what will come here so v in minus v out into duty cycle that means v out divided by v in into d by switching frequency into 0.3 okay this is the uh, equation for the inductor value Okay, this is a simple one. You see, in some of the textbooks, you might have seen that they will add the drop across the diode also. 
that means duty cycle will be V out plus VD value. V, v in plus VD, this will come. So this, this is a, uh, if we are, we are going to use the Scott T diode only, right? So that will be a 0.3 voltage will be there. Adding of the 0.3 voltage, that they will add it this also. But that looks like a more complicated uh, formula. But this is the ultimately extract formula for this one, okay? And I'll repeat once again, whenever they find the inductor value, remember this formula. Voltage across the inductor will be L into Di by dt, okay? Yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching this video.